Good morning, first, this is Naim Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's price action, we will be looking at the FTSE 100 index and we'll be analyzing what is ahead for the FTSE, especially given the fact there is so much going on with respect to Brexit, the, dead, the, the looming deadline, and of course, uh, the economy is about to reopen uh, on a much bigger scale this week. So how that is really going to impact the FTSE 100 index. So let's begin by analyzing the price action. But before we do that, it is important for us to go through the slide of disclaimers and risk warnings. So anything which will be discussed in this video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now folks, I'm gonna bring out the MT4 platform and as always, this can be downloaded from our website, evertrade.com. Now, from a weekly time perspective, we have three different important moving averages on this time frame. Firstly, it is your 200 week moving average shown in green, followed by your 100 week moving average, and then finally your 50 week moving average. Now, folks, it is very important for us when we look at these moving averages and compare the price action with respect to to the current price we we need to see if the price generally speaking if the price that trades above these important moving averages we can clearly say that yes the price is in a bullish trend and if the price trades below these moving averages we can say that yes the price is trading in a downward trend now clearly the price has recovered massively massively from its COVID-19 low, which was formed back on 23rd of March. But we are still below these three important moving averages, as you can see. And we are still below this important level of resistance, which we will discuss a little bit more when we shift the gear and we will go into a daily time frame. Now, let's do that, in fact, Let's go into a daily time frame and then see how the price action looks like. Now, first of all, for, let's continue our conversation with respect to moving averages. Now, given the fact that the mere price was trading below its all important moving averages on a weekly time frame, but when we go into a daily time frame where these moving averages becomes your daily time, uh, daily moving averages from weekly to moving averages, but the period stays the same, meaning this remains 200, this remains 100, and this remains your 50. Now, the picture looks very, very different because what it shows you is that the price, actually the bears, which, you know, on a weekly time frame still looks like the, the, the price looks still very bearish. But on the daily time frame, what it tells you is that the, the bears started to lose control of the price when the price started to move above the 50 day moving average. And more recently, the price also had a big battle with its 100 day moving average. Now, the price has recovered this massive gap to the downside, which happened back during the COVID uh, period. But, and now the price is recovering its, uh, its, its movement, its price action, its, its losses from there, and then it's moving towards its next level of resistance. And the reason that these two resistance lines were there is because this is the point where the price seen this enormous move to the downside. And if there is a movement, for the price, or if there's a reluctance for the for the bulls for the for to push these prices higher, then it is likely to be in around this level. And also, more importantly, it is there the where the 200-day moving average is also trading. Now, analyzing the price action from the uh, from the recent trend that we are seeing, we see that okay, yes, the double bottom was formed because the first uh, bottom being here, the second bottom being here, then the price started to move higher now if and if if the price fails to stay above this particular moving average then the uh, then the support zone that we're really looking at is really at this level we are really focused around this particular candle and this is your daily candle because it is also slightly above the 50 day moving average now if the price doesn't stop here and then it continues its journey to the downside well, then one thing is for certain that 
this upward trend will no longer remain in place. We no longer, you can no longer call this uh, upward trend because then the price is likely to break below the 50 day moving average and it is highly likely for the prices to continue. And I've said this many times that the, the, up, the, up, uh, the doors are still wide open for the prices to revisit the COVID-19 and it can always happen and the probabilities of that are are going to increase once the price breaks below its 50 day moving average. Now folks, that's pretty much with respect to the price action. Now with respect to the MACD, we are still seeing the momentum building up. Obviously, the bulls lose. They, they, they lost the control. They, they lost the control of the price because you can see that the the the, the bull uh, the, the bearish momentum is certainly not there. And now also uh, the these bars are trading well above the signal line as well. The, and as long as they stay above the signal line, you know we have the confirmation that yes, the momentum is there. But if these bars uh, go start to fall below this moving average uh, so this sorry this MACD line then it will be pretty clear for us that yes the momentum isn't there now so that this is certainly something to worry about but again when the price comes into this area of support then we should really see this uh, uh, the signal line started to you know the, these bars started to move again above this signal line all right folks that's all for today i hope this um, um this makes it a lot more clear in terms of the footsies price action and the how the reopening of the economy is really going to impact the prices for the for the index all right see you guys tomorrow